Welcome to the Promise E Fundamentals Training Course, Drawing Wires. This workbook contains information on how to draw wires within Promise E. Within this workbook, we will cover the steps required to draw a wire on a Promise E page, adjust the display properties of a wire, and how to determine if wires are connected or only crossing paths. Wires are one of the primary elements of any project within Promise E. They are used to connect symbols inserted on a drawing page. Wires are drawn in the same fashion as traditional lines are drawn within the base microstation. Importantly, the draw wire command will remain active after a wire segment has been drawn. This allows for multiple wire segments to be drawn quickly. Switching to Promise E, working on the same page created in the previous workbook, we can select the Draw Wire command from the Design workflow within the task menu. Once we've selected the command, we can start the wire segment by left clicking on the drawing page. Once we reach the end of the line segment, we can left click and continue drawing if required. The draw wire command stays active so lines can be continued. Right clicking at the end of our line segment will pause the command. Then we simply need to left click again on the drawing page to begin a new wire segment. The display properties of wires are driven by the CAD settings. This allows for the wire color, line style, and line weight to be adjusted simply either before or after the wire has been drawn. By default, wires in Promise E can only be drawn as a straight horizontal or vertical line. This limit can be disabled if diagonal lines are required. Returning to Promise E, selecting a wire that was previously drawn, we can change the line color by adjusting the CAD properties. With the CAD properties modified, notice how the color changes on the drawing page. Keeping the modified color, if we select the Draw Wire command again, this new wire will automatically receive the adjusted properties. Resetting the display properties, when we draw a wire, the software will lock the wire to be either a straight vertical or horizontal path only. This can be disabled by unchecking the Enable Axis Lock Toggle. Now, wires can freely be drawn at any angle that's required. However, when the toggle is enabled, Promise E can automatically bend wires around a 90 degree corner. In Promise E, a wire drawn on top of another wire will automatically merge together, leaving one wire. This functionality eliminates the need to stretch or extend a wire within Promise E. When connecting wires, a connection node will be automatically inserted. When wires cross path, they will simply cross over each other. However, a loop over can be added if desired. Returning to Promise E, we can show wire connections. This time, we'll use a different wire command we can select the draw three phase wire. The three phase wire command will draw three phases of wires at once. The spacing of the wires is set based upon the current grid spacing. If a second set of three phase wires is drawn connecting to one of our previous phases, the software can automatically show a phased connection. If we connect to the opposite end of the wire, the phasing will connect in the other direction. If we adjust our view, we can see the software has automatically inserted the connection node where the wires have connected. Where the wires are simply crossing paths, notice no node has been inserted. In conclusion, the major points covered within this workbook are within Promise E, there are multiple commands to draw wires. All the commands work in the same fashion, but they can have different options.
The display properties of the wires can be changed before or after the wire is drawn on the page. When two wires connect, a connection node will be inserted automatically. This concludes the Drawing Wires Workbook. Thank you for your time, and happy learning.